The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that any woman in which her husband will call her to bed and she will refuse or reject, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said, the one in the heavens will curse her. Not only that, there's another narration in which the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam says that the animals and the fish will curse this woman as long as her husband is upset or angry from her until her husband is pleased from her until she repents. My sister in Islam, I speak to every single wife out there. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said and fear Allah azza wa jal within your husbands. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said any woman, any wife that, she, that her husband passes away and her husband was pleased from her she will enter the paradise. She will enter the paradise. Yes, the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is connected to the pleasure of your husband. Pleasing your husband is a form of pleasing Allah Azza wa Jal. Displeasing your husband is a form of displeasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I say to all the wives and I say to all the sisters who are married, you know through your husband, it is your way to enter the paradise. Through your husband is the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should be cautious. The way you are cautious, the way you deal with your mother and your father, your parents, you should also be cautious on the second category, on the second Priority is also to be cautious what you say and how you speak to your husband and how you deal with them. Alayhi salatu was salam was once approached by a female, by one of the sahabiyat. And she said to the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam that I'm coming here speaking on the behalf of a group of females. And we were wondering that the men always are in front of us when they come in regards of pleasing Allah azza wa jal. The men can do things that we can't do. They attend the jama'ah, they're always around you and they also go out in the jihad. Us women, we don't get this opportunity. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, and listen carefully to this, alayhi salatu wa sallam told this woman to go back to the woman that she came on their behalf and to tell them that one of you, through the pleasure of their husband, through the service of their husband, through looking after their husband, is equivalent to all that you've mentioned. Yes, my sister in Islam, remember that, that when you look after the needs of your husband, you respect your husband, you bring happiness into the heart of your husband, you are on the same level, if not even more, of someone who's fighting in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that there are three types of people that Allah azza wa jal would not accept their prayers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not even elevate a hasana to them. And Allah Azza wa Jal would not even elevate a hasana for them to the heavens. And amongst them is a woman in which her husband is displeased from her. Yes, a woman that her husband is displeased from her. You as a wife, if your husband is displeased from you and he's angry from you, know that when you pray, you're not getting in a hasanat. Not I'm saying that your prayer is not accepted. Your prayer is accepted as a fad, but you're not getting in a hasanat for that prayer. For the good that you do, you're not getting in a hasanat for it. Look how much Islam really cares about the duty and the responsibility of this female towards her husband in some areas where the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, says that the female, she is not allowed to fast, a voluntarily fasting until she seeks the permission of her husband. You know, you might think and say, but my worship to Allah Azza wa is a lot more important. But the worship of Allah is connected through the pleasure of your husband. The worship of Allah and the pleasure of Allah is connected to you is through you serving the needs of your husband. That's why when the husband calls the wife to the bed and she refuses it's that the animals and the fish, fish and everyone and, and the angels will curse this woman until she repents and or until her husband is pleased from her. See how big this sin is? Where are the wives of the Muslims these days? They treat their husbands worse than what they treat their children. 